new MTMJ podcast. Relationships versus friendships when it comes to who's more important. So, so we had a conversation in the car. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically like, when did you realize in your relationship that you put your spouse before your friends. <laughs> this nigga said 29. And I told him when he was and like I'm, and I'm 30, 29. And I'm 36. And he was like. So she's telling me seven <laughs> years ago, I decided to put her before I put my friends. When the aspect of it is, it doesn't even have anything to do with his friends, honestly. Once he became a father, he stopped hanging out as much as stuff once he became a dad in general so my thought process would be if he wasn't a father would it still be the same I, what I'm telling you is prior to us moving down the street I wasn't going out I didn't really start going out until maybe 22, 23 anyway it's just that it's. I had a strong three years of like partying and drinking and acting a fool. And I think everyone, I mean, absolutely everyone needs to be able to have the moments in your life, your younger years, that you really enjoy life, whatever that means to you. So I did that. But as you grow, you're supposed to evolve. You're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to. I'm just still trying to get if these kids wasn't here (laughs) (laughs) with your friendship who would be more important the the bros or the hoe But, but, but the thing is you have to find a balance and sometimes that balance comes with maybe your friends don't get along with your spouse or maybe your spouse doesn't get along with your friends but, but you that's have a to, juicy topic because then what do you do? You have to you. Um, <laughs> the juicy pop. What what, what do, do you do when your friends what they, they call sandbox, sandbox and stuff? stuff. One of your sandbox or couple don't get along with your spouse. Like how do you deal with that? Like what do you do? With that? <laughs> so, so you know, you know what's, what's crazy, crazy about, about this topic. topic? I literally was talking to my man yesterday and we were having the topic about uh, bringing our spouses or our partners around our friends and when they have get togethers and how sometimes when you do that your friend can be the, the friends of the friends of the friends can manipulate the spouse or the partner Let me adjust this in my <laughs> Okay. So the real the real juiciness of this topic is if you've been around the friend of the of the spouse for almost two decades, where should your loyalty lie? That's what loyalty has expiration, right? No. <laughs> No, that is not true. Is that what loyalty has an expiration? Loyalty only has an expiration if it expires with the partner, not with the not with the not with the spouse. Who's the partner? Is the partner the spouse? (laughs) Come on, come on! Because if you go with the loyalty of the and this goes to so look, if I'm still loyal to my friend. And, and, and that loyalty with my friend hasn't expired. You, as the spouse and partner, is supposed to stop, follow my lead. Well, but your friends aren't necessarily my friends. Some, Some of them are. But how, what do you consider a friend? That's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. So and there's you can't even you can't even you can't even consider your spouse's friend your friend. Unless y'all literally have made a pact with one another to say that you guys are friends. And this particular friend, you guys made a pact with one another. So your loyalty was supposed to stand with this friend. No, 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 no. 
We didn't make a loyalty to his friends. That's my son. That's what it was. I get it. And the loyalty wasn't as an aspect of being this. It was a conversation of you need to talk to your man. And that's what it was. And, no. it, and they felt like it was something else. <laughs> nah, because you're not about to make it seem like I was being disloyal. Nah. You just you said loyalty has an expiration date, which tells me you was being disloyal. No, you were saying that, but now I know who you're talking about. Absolutely not. You tried it. I did. Oh, you tried it. Nah, the situation we, was... We pardon now. The, the situation was the chick he was dealing with was trying to keep some shit from him. And I said... And listen, she was listening to somebody oh, else that was giving her, her, that was giving was her making up stuff. some that bad was information. <laughs> that was and I said, you need to tell the person you're sleeping with what's going on. But Don't what are you supposed to do if the, if, if, if the friend's female partner manipulates the friend's spouse? I wasn't manipulating. Man, <laughs> and then the spouse is in denial about manipulation. What the hell was I manipulated? So, in, in this story, we're talking about did you feel like you were getting ready to expire, my friend, which is your friend? And not even my friend, my brother. No, I wasn't expiring him. It was her. It's a dang old shame, man. He should never do that to her. She's doing all this for him, and he being like this. No, no, no. I said to you what was That's, said. Yeah. It wasn't I said to her to give her the aspect of what he's on. It was me that I'm talking with your ass. Is it, is it my fault? But is it my fault for feeling like um, you, you... I was telling you what she was saying. Of this, this new chick. Or, I can't chew out. No. That's why I came to you like, babe, this was going on? Is this what was going on? No, that is yeah, not yeah. how... I, I, boy, boy. This, this is one time I, I wish we had a recording, a video or something of this conversation. <laughs> because if it, if it went down the way that she's trying to say it went down... Those two wouldn't have had to have a conversation together without me. And he wouldn't have had to give her a full explanation of what's really going on. So I know. I No. I know it went down the way I'm saying it. Because if it went down the way that she's saying it, it would have been like the buck would have stopped at me. He had to go over my head and call her. Because of what she was saying that she got from somebody else's shit. That's why I said keep away from these bitches. Just keep me away from the people that ain't ain't gonna be around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I'm gonna say whatever it is that I'm going to say. But I'm not putting myself in a situation to be in your relationship. Like I don't wanna hear why you chose or why you not. No, you gotta sleep with that person, say what you need to say. Y'all need to have that conversation if you want to be in a relationship. Okay, what if this person, what if this person told, just made up this full blown fantasy, literally made it up, a fantasy that did not exist, and you believed it? <laughs> what does that? But what does that mean? Now, we having this discussion. It's, it's not funny. to be believed if I go to ask and say, well, what's, is this what's going on? Because I asked him. So this is what this is how you responded to this. Man, I can't believe this, this man going to do this chick like this. And she got this house built with this handicap right for him. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in. And I was asking you. Did you said, stop for a second to see her face? I can't believe she said. Like she started to remember this dumb crap. But it stopped me saying, like he was carrying her on some aspect. He's a Gemini. To, that's one thing. They shut off. They do. But my thing was, oh but my God. is no, this did. what's going on? So you blame now? You blaming it on a uh, on on, on a, um what's the what are they called when you talk about tourists and gymnasts yeah now you blaming it now, now she she 
blaming it on the zodiac sign. Because what you is it? Nothing. That's, That's outside here. Okay. Uh, so you don't know what the Because when it comes down to the whole situation, I ask the man that I'm sleeping with some questions. And when she asked me that shit, right, I'm sitting there thinking to myself before I responded, God damn, this shit sound crazy. Because I'm like, I feel like if I... If I didn't already tell her this, she but what made it bad? Her mother was sitting right there. Her mother was a junkie. Her mother was sitting there while she was saying the whole spiel. I'm like, oh. Her mother was a junkie. <laughs> oh man. Hey man, mother was a junkie, son of a thief. <laughs> this is some shit magic is. Man. Kid had the best manners ever. When I say the best actor out, the best actor out. My man had the best manners ever. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. Let's bring this back. So, relationship and friendships, who's more important? I would say we're all more important. I'm just saying, like, most times... You you want to you if if you have a strong relationship with a friend you want to make sure that friend has a strong relationship with your spouse. I mean that's I mean at least in our generation I don't know what these young is doing now because now they no one is nobody's friends everyone's my brother my sister I'm going to my brother house and then you be like is that your real brother no but yeah he my brother. So, I'm going to see my brother. And the sad part is, you could be effing your brother. So, it's weird to me. New MTMJ Podcast.